So Aquarius, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because when you give people space um, and allow them to process, digest, analyze, you'll be surprised at the outcome of that, what they come up with. Um, and that's what's happened when it comes to this person. So let's dive into your reading. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general your general love reading for uh, October. Uh, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys, it is time stamped. So if you click in the description bar below, you see where it says start reading, click on that and uh, that will bring you to the start of the reading, this section is really uh, kind of for those that, like I said, don't like to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in um, and then I'll be back. So Aquarius, let's start your reading. All right, so it seems like you're trying to maintain this relationship with that queen of pentacles there. I'm not sure what happened, but something definitely has happened to uh, rock this connection or uh, throw a, sp it's, it's in a funny space at the moment. And then how to kind of put that, if I'm honest with you, uh, if you're resonating with this, you kind of know what it is I'm saying. It, there's, it, this, you're in this funny space at the moment, but you're trying to maintain this relationship. It seems like, you know, there's definitely been a foundation that has already been laid with the four of uh, wands there, which talks about foundation. Uh, but you're kind of trapped mentally. It seems like, you, you know, you're trapped mentally, unable to kind of think outside of this relationship. Your focus is really on maintaining it, getting it back on track even. I would go so far as to say maybe even trying to make up for something. Your person is, um, it's, it's, it, it, yes, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, which talks about action, taking action. Yes, so they're participating. They're still in the relationship, but they're holding back. They're pulling back. So it seems like they're either not doing what they used to the prior uh, or what, what they once did, um, or they've kind of stopped doing certain things. They're in this space where they're thinking, so you might notice them off in their own world or there just might not even be a lot of communication that's going on between you both at the moment simply because they're in this space. When we're talking about the four of blades, we're talking about processing, processing um, thinking and processing things, processing what's happened, processing how they feel, processing what they think about what's happened, processing where they want to go, where this moves to next, all of that good stuff where your focus is on building um, an opportunity to kind of build. So when I say an opportunity to build, I feel like we're going back to whatever happened prior to this space at the moment, which has been semi kind of sorted on the surface. When I say that, I mean, yeah, you both have agreed to make, you know, continue this relationship. So your focus is on, okay, so let me get this back to where it kind of once was. And that's why we've got a lot of pentacles here. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, which talks about putting in work. <laughs> so you're definitely putting in some work here, Aquarius. The interesting thing, though, is that your person is slowly starting to come around simply because they there is this recognition of, okay, I've made a decision to maintain or still be in this relationship with my Aquarius. Um, and this is coming from their processing, what they're thinking about. And I acknowledge that, you know, my Aquarius adds or brings some form of positive element into my world, into my life. There's a positive impact on me that they do have. So they are starting to, I don't want to say acknowledge that because I feel like there was definitely some acknowledgement of that. I feel like that kind of got, their, their focus was taken off of that. And now they're starting to remind themselves of, or just kind of think about, you know, what you do add and how you do show up in their world, the positive aspects, ultimately, of what you bring to them. 
um, which helps because I feel like that rocky period wasn't comfortable for you. I feel like they really was, you know, again, yeah, they might have been responding to text messages, answering your phone calls, maybe sometimes, but you felt that pullback. You felt that them, um, how do I put that? You felt them pull back. You felt them not be as forthcoming when it comes to certain things. We do have that devil card there on your side. Aquarius, which talks about attachment, that talks about obsessive nature, that talks about even addictions. I'm going to pull on that. And I feel like it, hmm, let me see where that's coming from and why that's even there. We do have the high priestess right next to it, which talks about divine uh, insight, you know, divine communication. Sometimes that soulmate, a uh, twin flame, if that's something you guys believe in, but deep spiritual connection. I feel like that's what's kind of holding you in this game. And I say game, don't take it literally, okay? But I feel like this is what's holding you here. What's motivating you, inspiring you to, to keep this going is because of that, that acknowledgement of that. Um, but I do want to pull on that devil card there. Yeah, there is this obsessive... Yeah, for some of you, this is definitely someone you've been with for a while with that Six of Cups. Six of Cups talks about long term, someone that you've known in the past for a while, uh, maybe childhood. But there is definitely this um, obsession, that's where it's coming from, that you want into things to turn out well, really. Six of Wands talks about victory, being victorious. So ultimately, you want in things to just go well. But you notice there could be this element of obsessiveness or even under... Mm, I'm going to pull one more on that because I don't want that devil card to get out of hand. Yeah, we just got the moon. It talks about lack of clarity, unable to see fully. Um, yeah, just be mindful of that energy there, okay? <laughs> be mindful of that. I don't think it's, it's detrimental, but... It's there. I just don't want it to get out of hand. It's not at the moment. Um, but yeah, your person, like I said, they're slowly starting to come around. Slowly starting to come around just by them reminding themselves of... And that's ultimately what happens when you give people space to breathe, to think, to gain clarity. You know, when you're too much under someone, especially if you're going through to you know, a bit of challenges... Sometimes we think it's easier to you know, try and sort it out now. Da, da, da. Sometimes we just need a bit of space in order for them to, and for you, to kind of, you know, clear the energy and get their mind, you know, uh, moving in a new direction. And that's what seems to be happening here. So they're going to want to start, you know, not huge, uh, but making an effort, uh, do, doing some small things, making small offerings. Still going to be a little bit of judgment there, though. So slow your horses. Don't rush this uh, but they are slowly coming around you know you are coming out of this space uh, this sticky i don't know what happened <laughs> i don't know what you did uh, aquarius or what ticked this person off i don't feel like it was anything that was you know out there with the birds like you know cheating or anything like that i just feel like this person may be a bit particular in terms of how they like to have things i feel like it's more so coming from that place hence that little bit of judgment there but they're slowly moving out of this space i'm not worried uh, just be careful of that you know want that energy to start to interfere with this like i said this person seems to be particular in terms of just how they like things to be um and not to say that i mean they're not wrong in that i mean you like things to be a certain way and so do they and you know, they, they happen to stand on that as well. They happen to, maybe you cross certain boundaries that they just didn't appreciate. Um, but things seem to be moving in a direction that is um, allowing you guys to come out of this, this sticky space. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity, guys. Uh, I will be implementing the part twos of these where we just kind of dive a bit deeper into aspects of the reading of the spread between the both of you so give me a few weeks to, to put that together um also i will be implementing the singles readings as well yay <laughs> i've not done those for a while so um i will be implementing that in the next two weeks so look out for that have a beautiful beautiful day guys stay blessed and i shall see you next week